Art, it's a worldwide concept and a bit of a strange idea in the academic field. Artists are frequently thought of as extremely skilled, and yet their profession isn't seen as viable nor important. Art classes are often seen as just electives, an easy A, but there's many people who honestly take these courses for the sake of sharpening their craft, even in high school. What kind of person would it take to want to take these classes for art? All sorts of people create art, from writers, singers, painters, graphic designers, to even graffiti artists and potters. This may lead to the thought that all artists are different in personality, which is entirely correct to assume. However, not all artists want to, or even would be willing to take an art class. At Byers High School, the art classes have had the same teacher for three years, which is a fairly short time comparative to other teachers in the school. Those who are currently in our first hour drawing class fall into one of two categories. In the first, people who had taken the class in previous years and enjoyed the course will usually take it again in the next year. In the second are students who were previously artistic or have an interest in becoming artists, but had only just entered high school. As a member of this class, I became curious. Do those who take Byers' drawing class have similar personalities? Or is there just a broad spectrum of personalities in this drawing class as there are types of artists? My goal was to set out to figure out what the correlation was between artist and drawing class. As I began to consider the best ways to interview these students, it occurred to me that artists are generally a non-verbal type of person, meaning that I may get better and more actual results if I were to give them a survey rather than an interview of each of the participants personally. It also came to my attention that people may not be entirely honest if they were speaking with me rather than filling out a survey due to my previous encounters with them. From the very beginning, it became apparent to me that certain artists in the class just wouldn't do a survey. This isn't to say that they didn't take one, or outright refused to take one, but four of the projected 11 participants never returned a survey, and one of them was never present to receive one. It could almost be said that this says something about the artists themselves, finding importance in other assignments rather than those that they voluntarily do. Originally, I received five surveys almost immediately after giving them out, and one was returned after badgering the owner of it a few days later. However, it became alarmingly clear that buyers' drawing classes don't have very similar personalities, other than a joint enjoyment of art. It also became apparent that certain surveys' information couldn't be used because it was intentionally dishonest. Correlation was not found in what kind of personality the students have, as they range from introverted to extroverted and everything in between. However, the unlikely correlation I thought would have nothing to do with the survey actually ended up having a major effect. It seems that art students and buyers have an average of four to seven close friends and are acquaintances with nearly all of their classmates, usually 20 or more. It's extremely common to think that artists are antisocial, but this hit me that artists are actually quite social. They just express their emotions in a way that's physical rather than conversational. There's also little to no correlation among the students as to what their favorite place was to do art, whether it be around people or on their own. They seem to all agree that it affected what kind of work they made, but their preference was entirely subjective, as one would expect. Going into this, I honestly believed that the majority of the answers would result in introverted, antisocial people being artists and taking art classes, but this was not the case. The vast majority of people I interviewed answered saying they were introverted, but they enjoyed the company of others, or they were just extroverted. Many of them enjoyed doing art in the presence of others, and had several friends, despite stereotypes telling you otherwise. My original ideas about personality and how they correlate with artists was nearly non-existent. Despite the research that I'd done, and my research into others' experiments, it seemed that artists have a wide range of personality and were generally outgoing people, albeit not always extroverted. There's almost no connection that I can find between these two things, simply because there was no real connection other than the amount of friends they generally had. This topic may be worth going into further research, but I'm unsure of any connections that will be found that aren't sheer coincidence. 
It seems that anyone can be an artist, no matter what kind of personality you have. And that may be the most valuable thing I've discovered during this experiment.